Hey guys, today we will talk about Seance. And Seance is obviously a card that the MTG Finance community loves. I mean, instead of buying Seance, they could have bought Filia, which is my recommendation, but they're just too intelligent for me to understand why Seance is a good card. So if you don't know what Seance is, I will give you a brief rundown in its history. Seance was a card heavily promoted by the MTG Finance. So imagine that they were trying to do buyouts of this card. Prominent members of the MTG Finance community own hundreds, thousands, maybe even more of this card. They tried to artificially price spike the price, but it didn't work because the card is really, really bad. Now, along comes this other guy, um, this guy who apparently has lots of Bitcoins, and he does two things. He offers a very high price if you rip the seances, burn them or destroy them, and send him a picture. And he also does something that is quite clever. He offers, unless you won the Pro Tour, he was going to give you more money to just play Seance in a Pro Tour than if you finished in the top eight. And that is pretty crazy because it's guaranteed money if you play the Seance. But of course, he didn't actually do it. Now he's offering Reddit gold which is, has the equivalent of $4 of value or donation. So good on him. I think it's an interesting experiment and this is way to do it. So as you can see, there's a lot of likes. He's given out a ton of Reddit gold and he's probably donated a ton of uh, money to a charity called Unsun, which takes Bitcoins. So essentially it's a guy who has a lot of Bitcoins. I'm sure he's interested in how the market is working and whether or not you can establish a floor for a card like Seance. As the experiment, very, very clever uh, because you know the price of Seance, just given what it is, it, it's an experiment in how crappy can, can you make a crappy card go up in price? Um, in originally MTG Finance Community tried to make the crappy card into a good card but it just never worked. It just wasn't, the, the card is very, very bad. I mean, you had the choice to pick that or Filia at the time and you pick Seance because in retrospect, those people promoting it had self-interest. They had thousands of copies of this card. So they wanted other people to buy them and it's kind of like, okay, you can buy them and I have a, I have a copy, I have a playset for you. Do you want to buy them for me? because I can't move them. So a lot of MTG finance people got convinced, they went out, they purchased all these seances and the price never really moved. It moved, I think a, like 15 cents one day. So then they started to burn the seances. They started to destroy them and they hope to limit the amount. But now Modern Masters 2017, a recent set, a set that will be printed to oblivion from all Sources tell me that this set, there's a lot of this set around. And I'm not sure where people are saying they're getting canceled and stuff because these stores in Houston, they only get more, right? They, there's no, their orders didn't get canceled. They got the option to order even more, which a lot of them did. Because then they sold, they pre ordered, they sold the first batch pre ordered, and now they have regular ones coming in for draft and fun events. So at the end of the day, the seance dude, I mean, he's an interesting, this guy is interesting because he has money to back up what he's saying as opposed to the previous MTG finance version of this, which is people who I don't honestly think that they understand MTG finance if they're buying thousands of seances. Um, but this guy has the money to back it up and we will see. I mean, he's set a floor of seance for a dollar. Right. If you can get a seance and you can get play set of them, they essentially are worth a dollar to you because then you can get your Reddit gold or the donation. Now, how does this actually affect the price of seance? We will see because I expect people actually on Reddit to be really supportive of, the, of this movement and them to rip slash destroy thousands of seances i mean it's a good deal it's a good deal it's four dollars for a place of seance i mean 
that's if you have a place they have seance it might be worth and you're on reddit it might be worth for you to look at this uh, one of the other interesting points about this particular card and its history it's i mean i say history but it's only been around since dark ascension so it's a pretty recent card is for the most part for the most part people recognize what the card is just given what has happened with the price given the mtg finance community supported it for two years they still support it they still talk about it in their articles they still many of them still want to spike the price because they're sitting on thousands of these cards so it's been talked about a lot and the seance guy is kind of famous um, and the seance bitcoin guy i'll put bitcoin seance guy because these are different people at work and you know he's doing creative ways to get seance you know either limit the amount of seances and more importantly this post does something else it brings seance back to the mind of people so when they go to the local game store they might pick oh well let me trade for seance and then the person that is trading away seance doesn't really know why someone would want the card and then they might ask and then they learn more about it so as cards go seance is probably the most famous mtg finance card of all time is it the best card of all time no but it is the most talked about and definitely probably one of the the biggest fails in my opinion uh, because they they can spike dumb cards and mtg finance community has spiked dumb cards before in the past but they have never spiked something as dumb as this because it, it was not possible they tried multiple times they tried multiple buyouts they tried multiple ways to destroy the card they tried multiple ways to get the card on a pro tour and it just has never ever happened because the card is just so bad but now there's a floor for it and that should be interesting to see how long that lasts anyway leave me a comment below if you guys are, think it's a good deal four dollars for a play set of seances donated to a charity or in reddit gold and i'm over do you think they can actually establish a floor because they are not giving up on this card and we all recognize how bad it is but it's still i mean if you have an artificial demand created by you know by somebody who with a lot of money does the card get up to a dollar if the if what you're saying is i'm going to pay people a dollar a card we will see i mean it's an interesting experiment and i'm happy that he's doing it with his own money uh, because i i want to know that fact too um because for older cards like narwhals and stuff it's interesting right if somebody's willing to buy all the narwhals for two dollars and no matter how many Norwales come on the market, it's going to be bought for $2. Is the card $2? And can it hold? Anyways, that's it, guys. Talk to you guys later. Leave me a comment below. Bye.